Hello everybody. I just finished the work day, so I look a little crusty. I did work from home today and I just worked for my parents, but today I am gonna be doing a get ready with me, girls night edition. I am getting Italian food with a few of my girlfriends. I'm really excited because I actually haven't seen two of them in like probably over a year. The last time I saw them was at my own birthday party in 2019. 2019? No, 2020. I do have to get ready because I do look a little crusty, obviously. Um, I don't know what the camera settings are on right now. Sorry, I had to fix my camera really quickly, but I will be actually wearing this green dress here. This green dress. You guys might have saw like two vlogs ago that I tried to wear this dress not too long ago, and basically we weren't able to get in anywhere, so I wasn't able to really wear the dress. I walked outside and walked back inside the house. So I'm gonna be wearing that tonight. If you guys are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you aren't new here, Thank you for joining me again. I missed you and I hope you had a great week. All right, time to wash this greasy face of mine. Hello hotties, I am back. I have cleansed the face. I do have a couple of breakouts here and there on my face. Sucks, but it's completely normal. So we're gonna cover that shit up. Sorry, I'm making so much noise right now. I'm gonna go in with some primer. I'm just using the Putty Primer from Elf. A while where my skin was just so greasy to the point that I was basically a grease lick and I hated every second of it. Now my skin's chilled out a little bit and my acne has actually gotten a lot better so i started using benzoyl peroxide in the areas that i tend to break out it completely cleared all my acne for the most part not completely you guys get what i mean it cleared it for the most part and most of the bumps are gone it's pretty smooth in this area and i genuinely am surprised i'm going in with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish foundation. I love this stuff. It's so good if you want something that's more high coverage like this for nights when I want a very full coverage or very smooth finish. And I'll also add a little bit later to the neck area just because, you know, you should always blend down to your neck. I've had this foundation for a while and I didn't wear it for the longest time because I find that if you do have acne or texture on your skin, it does really emphasize it and I don't like that. Mm, I need to moisturize my lips. I'll do that after. I do like it because it is really easy to blend into the skin. It's sits it sits really well on the skin. It lasts all night. I don't really have to go in with a lot of concealer at the end. I don't know when I'm gonna stop picking my skin and learn. Picking it doesn't really benefit me or my skin. I only have one hour to get ready. When you film, it takes so much longer for some reason. I'm sweating. I also had to close my window because of the fact that my backyard is basically facing a park. There are so many children at that park and they get so loud. So I recently got a new sponge. So I used to use the Real Techniques blending sponge. I think that's what they call it. But I wanted to try something different. So I got the wet and wild sponge and I've been really really liking it. It's really flawless when I blend in my foundation and it's only like four dollars. Why pay full price for a beauty blender when you can get one of these for like four dollars? Know that you can go and shop Miss, I think it's Miss AOA, get beauty blenders for like one dollar and then I end up buying so much stuff I didn't really need so I canceled my order because you know that happens sometimes. I'm gonna put on some Laneige lip sleeping mask. My lips do be getting crusty. Also I saw that they just came out with two limited edition scents and I really want to get them but I already have two and I really really want the peppermint one. Do I need it? No but I was thinking I could get it and then keep it at Aiden's house. Oh I'm using the Fit Me concealer. It's literally my favorite concealer from the drugstore. It's so lightweight, but it also just like adds the perfect amount of coverage and it always blends really, really well. So I put that under the eyes and then just kind of like on the high points and then any blemishes. I do have like multiple concealers that I could use for blemishes, but I'm just kind of lazy. I just use the same one because why the fuck would I open another one? I'm feeling a bit of a cream bronzer today. This one is from Catrice and it's like $3. Blends really easily into the skin. Put some on my forehead. I have a really small forehead, so I don't really know why I put it up there, but I just kind of like it. Put it on my nose. I'll fix this situation. We're gonna blend this in. Don't worry. <laughs> my nose just looks crooked. And I'm gonna tap upwards. So pretty and natural. I just don't like the whole super dewy to the point where you look greasy look. But I feel like that was a huge trend for a bit. Maybe because I was already greasy. I think it was because I was already greasy. For my nose, I'm gonna take a smaller brush because this requires a bit more precision than the rest of my face. And also don't let me forget my freaking neck contour because that has happened to me in the past. I have definitely forgot this before. And she's all blended as you guys can see. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder and then also the Laura Mercier powder. The Laura Mercier, I really like to press it into my like forehead and areas where I tend to be more greasy. I also use this to reverse contour too. I really like pressing powder under my eyes because I, as I've aged, and believe it or not guys, I am 24. I noticed that my right eye has like a prominent wrinkle underneath it. Sometimes what happens is concealer sits in there and then creases, so I hate it. I'm kind of also stressed out because of the fact that I still need to get gas and put gas in my car 
car. I used to be one of those people where I like always had a full tank and I could not drive anywhere without a full tank because I'd get stressed at the fact that I might not have gas or be an emergency. Now, I'm just a completely new human. We'll continually drive on an empty tank. Like, who am I? We're gonna go in with some bronzer. When I'm pale, I just look like weird. Like I look sick. Like I look like I have jaundice. Take some and just apply it to the places where I applied the cream bronzer. Drag that shit up. I'm sweating. My armpits are itchy. Oh my God, I have to upload my armpits. <sighs> I have been working out like four to five days a week. It's weird because I used to never really get that sore. Now I've just been getting so sore every single time I go to the gym, which is kind of nice because it means that like my muscles are being broken down, kind of like rebuilding, getting stronger. But also I just cannot move. Like my shoulders and my biceps and my triceps and my chest are so tight. My legs were super sore yesterday, but they did feel a lot better today. I don't know. I've never gone to the gym and regretted going to the gym. This is your sign to go to the gym. And then I also make sure to do underneath my nose so that my nose those look super lifted. I don't know what kind of blush I want. I think I'm just gonna do natural blush. Amazonian clay blush from Tarte it's in the color party. Sometimes I do like to take my blush across the bridge of my nose. There's the blush. I don't know if you guys can even see. There's a hair in my eye. You know when you get those like strings of like eye boogers and then you pull it and it feels so satisfying. Okay, so there's my skin. It looks pretty perfected at the moment. It's very fresh. It's very light. I don't like to apply a lot of makeup. This is the Charlotte Tilbury bronze and I don't even fucking know what this is. Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. Using the highlighter in here. It's super natural. Highlighter on my finger and pop it on my nose. And then I always apply it to the bridge as well. My non-existent bridge. Now we are going to spray my face. Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. And there we are. I'm gonna be right back. I have to get a new battery for you guys because you guys are dying at the moment. I'll be back to do my eyebrows. It's like a little felt tip eyeliner. It isn't as pigmented as a typical eyeliner. So that's why it's really good for eyebrows. And I'll just do a couple strokes in my eyebrow. Take my spoolie and then just kind of like brush through to blend them. I do give them like a second to make sure that the eyebrow pen sets. Otherwise it just kind of like smudges it. Excited to have a girl's night. I'm an adult now. So like things just get like busy. People get busy. And so it's really hard to just get like a bunch of friends together on the same day if someone wants to make time for you they will so if you have a friend who never really wants to see you and never really makes the effort to see you then do they really want to see you in the first place i don't think so my eyebrow hairs are really really thin never grew back super thick they grow in a downward pattern not great eyebrows and so i'm sad the gel that i'm using is the glossier boy brow it has a tint to it so not to apply too much if you do use a tinted eyebrow gel after this it'll even darken your eyebrows even more and i don't necessarily want my eyebrows to be black i got the eyelash out of my eye. I always use an eyeshadow primer because I have hooded lids. They just get greasy really fast and trap eyeshadow in there. I use the NARS Smudge Proof um, eyeshadow primer, I believe. When I apply this, my eyeshadow never creases and it's so good. The Anastasia Soft Glam Palette, medium brown, I guess, and kind of just like bring that in the corners, blend inwards but also i'm going to drag it out and smoke it out a little bit and then blend into the crease and with hooded eyes i always blend above my crease because otherwise you wouldn't see shit and then i also take the burnt orange shade and bring it down i haven't really touched eyeshadow in so long and i kind of miss that in university so many of my girlfriends would be like can you do my eyeshadow tonight so they come over with like a full face of makeup except for their eyes and sometimes i do their like contour and stuff and it was so fun i don't really wear actual eyeliner i usually just wear like eyeshadow eyeliner i guess is what i'd call it just because it's way easier it takes like no time i also don't have time to really like fuck up and like play around with my makeup unfortunately because it's already 606 and i just leave in like 20 minutes and i'm just mixing like a dark brown and a black why is she growling like that do you see her? She's right there. There we have it. We have my wings. Sorry, my eyes like kind of red from my eyelash. Sometimes I like to connect it down here a little bit. And then now I'm just gonna do it on the other side. I don't wear fake eyelashes. I'm just gonna put on some mascara. Oh, it's fucked my face up. Here's my eyeliner. This is what it looks like. It's just like a liquid shadow, essentially. I just like to put a little bit, not too much. And it's very like subtle eyelash curler. I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm rushing, barely talking to you guys. Literally gonna be late. I have to get Sarah in like 10 minutes. Curl my bottom eyelashes and I really like how it looks. An eyelash primer, I either use this one, which is like the Kate Lash Maximizer or Dr. Mascara Fixer. I don't really find that the extensions that are in the primer ever really get my eyes. I use these two mascaras, the Sky High and the 
Fenty Lash Sensational. You guys can tell a difference. Look at my lashes. I always take a brown eyeliner and tight line. Also, let me know what you guys want to see more of down below because I don't really know what to record. I'm going to take MAC Spice Lip Liner. Ooh, I sharpened her recently. And I got this new lipstick from e.l.f. Sheer Slick Black Cherry Lipstick. It's supposed to be a dupe for Clinique Black Honey, I think. I really like it. It's like a good color for fall. This is my finished makeup. It is pretty easy, pretty quick, and something I go to quite often. I don't know how I feel about this lip color. Everyone was like raving about the Black Honey, and I don't know how I feel about this. Anyways, I'll be right back. I'm gonna change. Hello. Put on my outfit. I'm wearing this other blazer that I thrifted off Kijiji, and then I'm wearing this green dress that I got from Zaza. Zara. I got this green dress from Zara. I hope you guys enjoyed this really rushed, chaotic get ready with me. If you guys want to see more like makeup things, let me know or leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see next. But I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys next time. See ya. I'm late. I hate being late. So bye.